Well, let's look at how to write a function that calculates and shows you absolute value. So I'm going to go ahead and write this function. And this function is going to return an integer value. So int is the return type. And it's going to be my abs absolute, my absolute. And so I'm going to receive something. I need to receive a number that I'm going to calculate the absolute value of. So my number going in is going to be an integer as well. And I'll call it num. Now all I need to do is figure out, is this number positive or negative? So if it is positive, then I can return the actual absolute value. If it's negative, I need to switch the sign and then return it. So the way I can do that is I can do an if statement. If num is greater than or equal to zero, then I just return no. However, if it's not one of those cases, I can do an else or I can just do a regular statement right here. I can do return and I can do minus num, which will get me the absolute value by taking away the negative sign. So now let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to prompt my user for a value. Enter a number. And then I'm going to run through my absolute value program or function and make sure it works. And user num. So I'll put it in there. And then I will calculate out my new number and display it. So I'll do a standard out, C out, the absolute value is, and I can give you my absolute and pass in the number user num. And then I can end this. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and let's see how it works. So if I give it the number 10, it returns 10, which is good. I'm going to run it again. If I give it number negative 10, it also gives me 10. If I run it again and I put in zero, it gives zero. So you can see it is calculating and returning the absolute value of the number. So this is a simple example of a function that returns the absolute value of a number.